and welcome to Auto Shenanigans. How the devil are you? Have you had a good week? My name is John and thank you very much for joining me for another exciting episode of a very windy motoring oddities. Today I've come to Northumberland, a county that shares its border with Scotland, which means we are very much up north. More specifically, I'm at Linda's Farm Castle, which is on the three mile wide Holy Island. It covers an area of around a thousand acres, has a population of 180 people, and it's about halfway between Newcastle and Edinburgh. This place is well old, with records showing settlements made as far back as the 6th century. The monastery on the island was founded in the year 634 by Irish monk St Aidan. Over 150 years later, in the year 794, Linda's Farm, the surrounding area, found itself at the forefront of a full-on Viking invasion. It's said that this Viking invasion marked the start of all Viking invasions to come. Linda's Farm Castle's location meant that it was regularly seeing attacks and invasions by not only the Vikings, but the Scots had a good go too. It seems back then we didn't really get on. Linda's Farm Castle actually came a little bit later in the 16th century and it's strategically built on the highest point of the island. Henry, number eight, ordered the Earl of Rutland to fortify the castle against Scottish attacks. And later on, Queen Elizabeth I continued that work. It was King Jimmy I who saw sense when he came to power in 1603 and combined the Scottish and English thrones, meaning the requirement of such a castle fell into decline. Access to the island from for a long time was via a 1300 year old pathway called the Pilgrim's Way. You can still trace this footpath today as it's marked out by wooden posts in the sandy mud. Remarkably, it stayed this way until the 1950s. Then somebody thought, actually, it might be quite nice to drive a car across to the island. Introducing the Linders Farm Causeway. This motoring oddity perhaps offers one of the largest examples of a tidal road in the country. And what I mean by that is that twice a day, the tides come in and the road is completely submerged underwater. Holy Island is therefore completely cut off from the mainland because you're not able to drive across the road at all. The total length of the road is about three miles long, with the first mile spent crossing the sea before you reach the island. However, you aren't out of danger yet because the majority of the road will still be submerged underwater because it sits right on the coastline. The height of which the water can get varies depending on where you are. However, it's been measured at around 1.5 metres up to a massive 4 metres. The island and causeway sees around 650,000 visitors a year, with local residents reporting that on average once a month somebody misjudges the tide and has their vehicle washed away. And whilst it does sound rather funny, I imagine the Coast Guards have probably got better things to do with their time. Not long after you set off from the mainland, you'll discover this rather unique looking structure. This is actually a refuge for anybody who gets caught out by the tide and in theory sits high enough so that the water won't reach you. However, your car will be doomed. It sits where it does because this section of the causeway is the first bit to get flooded when the tides come in. The speed at which the tides come in is rather fast and will often catch you out and leave you in a position where you're not actually able to turn back. So hopefully the refuge area will keep you safe. It's locally known as the Idio Box, probably with good reason. And if we do a quick comparison of high tide images versus low tide images, you'll see that really you've got absolutely no chance. There has been talks about installing barriers. However, the local residents have actually opposed this idea because let's be honest, it's gonna make their lives an absolute inconvenience. Certainly more so than fishing the odd car out of the sea every now and again. And there we are guys, that was Linda's Farm Causeway. I hope you liked the film. If you did, there is a button specifically for that. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that old subscribe button for me, it'd be much appreciated. Enjoy the rest of your week, whatever it is you get up to. My name's John, you've been watching Auto Shenanigans, and I shall see you guys next time for another exciting episode of Motoring Oddities. Until then, take care, see you now, bye bye.